Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech. Now I know I'm late with this, but I had no plans of covering the Red Magic 3. Nubia didn't send me a unit, but I kept getting a lot of requests from you guys. So I decided to buy one for myself and check out what the hype was all about. So in today's video, let's unbox Nubia's latest gaming smartphone. Here's the box, the Red Magic 3 comes in. We have the spec highlights to the back. Some interesting points to note here. Let's talk about all of that real soon. Slashing through that plastic, opening it up, we've got the Red Magic 3 itself. Removing it from its plastic packaging, it's got some interesting accents to the back. That center, it's an LED strip. The phone feels big, it's all metal. Peeling off that sticker, I can't help being reminded of the Black Shark 2 here. Anyway, let's turn the Red Magic 3 on, set it aside and dig further in. We then have a sim ejector tool, a quick start guide, an 18 watt travel adapter, and a red USB Type-C cable. The black connectors here set it apart from OnePlus. Now before we take a closer look at this gaming smartphone, if you've been liking what you've been seeing so far, please turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. So this is the Nubia Magic 3. So why is it a gaming smartphone? Let's start by trying to answer that question. So first, the display. This here is an AMOLED panel, a 6.65 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED panel, it looks nice, punchy colors and all that, but like the one on the ROG phone, this is a 90Hz panel, so it's a little extra smooth. Now this AMOLED panel is covered by 2.5D Gorilla Glass. There is a fair bit of bezel to the top and bottom, but to Nubia's credit, they have provided front-facing stereo speakers with DTS support, and bezels are actually useful when it comes to gaming. We also get a couple of shoulder triggers built in, so these are capacitive areas that you can map, so for example, with PUBG, you can have a trigger set to shoot and hit that trigger instead of having to tap the screen to shoot. That's something you might find convenient. Additionally, there also seems to be some expansion options, a gamepad like with the Black Shark 2, a magic adapter that lets you use headphones, connect to Ethernet and charge via a Type-C cable all at once that uses this. The Red Magic 3 does come with a headphone jack by itself, by the way. Talking about what it has by default, Remember the shark space toggle from the Black Shark 2? We've got something similar here, only that it's named better, Game Space 2.0. So we can add games and it kind of freezes everything else in the background, gives you options to turn on notifications, kind of lets you focus on the gaming aspect of things. Additionally, here's the kicker. You can set cooling options, that is set that fan to run on full blast. Oh yeah, the Red Magic 3, as far as I know, is the first and only phone to come with an active cooling solution. So there's a physical fan on the inside. This here is where it takes in cool air, and here's where it expels hot air. And Nubia claims this lets the Red Magic 3's chip run at peak performance for up to nine times longer. And that chip on the inside, it's not just any chip, it happens to be the flagship Snapdragon 855. It is paired with 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of UFS 2.1 storage. The 12 to 56 isn't available in India at least at the moment. And sadly, there is no memory expansion options either. I mean, it is impressive that all this is backed up by a 5000 mAh mammoth battery. On the software side of things, we have a very stock build of Android 9 Pie. The icons might be a little squarish, but it is stock, but for a few changes. There is a multicolor LED option in the settings menu that lets you turn on and off the Red Magic symbol LED and also the strip to the back. Again, just like with the Black Shark 2, there's quite a lot of resemblances here. You can set this LED strip to act as a visualizer for music, which is pretty cool. Or you can have it as a charge indicator or notification LED. Despite this being an AMOLED panel, the fingerprint scanner is physical and located to the back. It is fast and responsive as with most physical fingerprint scanners today. Then there's the camera app. The highlight of this one is that it supports 8K video, only 15 FPS, which is far from smooth. But it is still 8K on a phone, which is impressive. If you want smoothness, then there is 4K 60 FPS support. And this rear sensor, it is the Sony IMX586, 48 megapixels still come out well. Seems to be the Redmi Note 7 Pro setup since it is paired with the f1.79 lens. 
These images were shot under the harsh midday sun and they turned out good. So the camera seems to be doing well. And there is only a single camera here and I couldn't find a portrait option for either the rear or selfie cameras, at least as of now. I'll play around with it and have more to add in the full review. The selfie camera is a 16 megapixel affair by the way. Now the Nubia Red Magic 3 retails for 36,000 rupees in India. And at this price, it seems interesting. I mean, the OnePlus 7 is the cheaper option. And this one comes with a 90 Hz panel, a headphone jack, 5,000 mAh battery and all those LEDs while losing out on the glass build, screen to body ratio and of course, price. I mean, the OnePlus 7 is more of a mainstream option. While if gaming is something you're interested in, the Red Magic 3 seems to be one of the most sensible gaming phones I've come across. Unlike something like say the Black Shark 2, this one doesn't have any obvious trade-offs. No lack of a headphone jack, no Samsung GM1. Seems like a full-fledged prop of flagship and is priced quite sensibly too. Nubia seems to have put together a good one here. So what do you guys think? What other videos would you want to see on the Red Magic 3? Any comparisons, any tests? Let me know in the comments below and I will try to get them done. And with that, we get to the end of this quick unboxing and hands-on. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on whatever you felt about it. Subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name is Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.